Gentlemen, I've got a servo test for you. I'll be testing the Power HD 20kg and the 23kg, the Savox 1230SG, the Turnigy 959, the Traxxas 2075X out of the TRX4, and the Hexfly HX15S out of the Red Cat Gen 7. I'm using that horn right there. And I'm using the outermost hole, which is one inch away from the center of the splines. This is how most of your servos are measured when they're measured in ounce inches. There's my tester. Got a volt amp meter and a fish scale. When I'm pulling on these servos, they're going to be at a full stall. So, who knows? One of them may die. I, I honestly don't know. But, um... You will be able to see the volts and amps that the servo is pulling and how much it's pulling. So there's my receiver. There's my spaghetti wires. Those will allow me in future tests to bypass the receiver for high voltage servos. There's a Castle 10 amp BEC. And there's the battery that's going to power all this stuff. This battery is in for an easy day today. So um, basically, you clamp the servo in there. Hook that onto the horn. And... Pull away. Now let's see what these servers have got. Power HD 23kg. Power HD 20 kg. Savox 1230 SG. Carnegie 959 servo. just because that was so awesome. Impressive. Hexfly Servo HX15S. Traxxas twenty seventy five X.
Well, that was interesting. Going from weakest to strongest, you have the Trek says 2075X with about 114 ounces of pull at 2.87 amps. You've got the Hex Fly at 175 ounce of pull at 4.37 amps. Then, kind of a surprise here, the uh, Power HD 23kg, 238.4 ounce at 4.91 amps. And then the lesser rated one actually was quite a bit higher. And it was a uh, 324.1 ounce at 6.59 amps. Then you have the Savox 1230 at 366.5 ounce, 6.21 amps. And then you have the old guy here, the Alloy 959 by Turnigy at 559.5 ounce, 7.28 amps. Now, there's one thing to remember here. As you hear people say on the Facebook groups and in person, when you get a stronger servo, you need to get an external BEC. As you can see clearly, the weaker servo pulls the, less, the least amps, and then the amps constantly go up with the ratings all the way to 7.28 amps for the 959. So, I mean, there's a lot to be seen here as far as the amps. So, and I know with the uh, Traxxas guys, they get by with running the uh, Power HD servos pretty well without a, an external BEC. But when you put those two on there, you're going to have brownouts. And a brownout is when you're driving through the rocks and you go to turn and all of a sudden the system kind of shuts down and reboots. It comes back. And if the servo is bound hard enough, it'll do this repeatedly over and over and over again. And that just gets you frustrated. So that's another reason for the good old BEC. So um, anyway, that was the servo test. Hopefully it was informative. So you guys have an idea of what the different servos are good for. Um, it's possible one of these servos could be bad. One of these servos could be really exceptionally strong for its ratings. I would have to wonder if this may just be a bad 23 kg that I got because um, the difference was pretty big between those two. So, but anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching.